Well, gift cards are popular items, but imagine giving one only for that person to find out that the money on the card had already been spent. That has been happening here in Connecticut, and News 8 has your back tonight with tips on what to look out for. News 8's Noelle Gardner joins us now with what you need to know. Noelle? Darren and Ann, crooks have found a way to rob you of your gift card balance. Detectives tell me thieves are recording the barcode on the back of the card, and once you purchase the gift card and it's activated, they spend your cash. Mm -hmm. Gift cards are a multi billion dollar business. It's a quick and easy gift to give, but they're also a gift for thieves. What we're trying to do is, is, is sound the alarm and let people know that when they buy gift cards, they need to understand that there's a little bit of a risk that comes with it. Police say crooks are stealing gift card numbers before you buy them. You see them out in the open on display racks. They're easy for you to grab, and it's easy to become a victim. In a matter of seconds, thieves can record the gift card information by pulling back this tab and taking a picture of the barcode and PIN number. Once that's recorded in the phone, all they have to do is wait until the card is activated to spend your money. As security surrounding gift cards improves, so does new technology. There are software right now that they can, that's on the market that they can buy that actually aids them in being able to call, to auto call these numbers until the card's actually loaded. Some shoppers we spoke with chose to put down their gift cards after we told them about this warning from police, choosing to buy a gift the old fashioned way. Really scary to see that somebody had gotten a hold of them. So 50, 50 bucks there that somebody could have walked away with. It would make me think twice to give a gift card, and it's not right. You're better off giving cash. Please tell me gift cards are attractive targets for fraud because unlike credit or debit cards, there is no name or bank account attached to them. Before buying a gift card, make sure it's not tampered with and it's best to use a credit card when making the purchase, not cash or a debit card. And police tell me stay away from auction sites that sell gift cards. I'm live tonight in the New Haven newsroom. Noel Gardner, News 8.